Oh, it worked. All right, so I have the CD here and the idea is to see if I can 3D print on that and transfer that pattern onto the 3D print. All right, let's see if we can root this kiln first. All right, so I took a bunch of paint or er, uh, clear tape, but I was able to remove the film and it leaves us with this surface. So this is what we're gonna try and 3D print on. So all I had to do is basically just tape the disc to where the 3D part was, part was gonna be printed and re-leveled onto that disc. Um, so you'll notice on the left it's not touching because the bed is actually lower than where it was before, but it should be at the right height to print on the disc. And you'll see it actually starts pretty well. All right, looks like it's done. That seems to have stuck well. All right, let's pull this back. All right, so there it is. Seemed to have stuck well. Let's take a look. Oh, and it worked. So there you have it. You just need any old CD, pull off the film, and just print on it like this, and you'll have that rainbow pattern on the back. And I bet you you can use this quite a bit. That's what it looks like.